Alright everyone, so in the last video I showed you how to make the enemies, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make the character's weapon. So I'm going to call it sword, this, make a new spray and you're going to call it sword, and then right now you're just going to make what you, uh, you're going to make three, three different, um, three different costumes for three different swords. So I'm actually going to make like a little twig, and make sure they're always pointing to the right. Make a little twig. Just like this, and then I'm gonna have another one pointing off to the side. Okay, there we go. That's the first sword, and you're gonna actually make it small, like super small, how big you want it to be compared to the character. Actually, no, not how big you want it to be compared to the character, just super small, and then put it to the right a little more. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in code, and we're gonna do when green flag is clicked. We're going to make a variable and we're going to call it sword. I'm going to put set sword to 1. Because I'm going to make it as you progress the game, you're going to change weapons. Unless you want to make it where you can purchase weapons. Which uh, I'm not going to cover. But if you want to know how to do that, uh, it will be super simple. You're going to have to make a simple money system. So we're going to put point towards mouse pointer. Go to character. Or point uh, go to player. And then we're going to do this. Perfect. Uh, it's a little too big, so we're going to change the size to 50. A little too big. Uh, I'll put 20. Perfect. Just how big we want it to be. And now we have the working sword. And I'm actually going to detail this costume a little more. And by detailing, I mean I'm just going to add a little stick so it looks 3D. Or I mean a little trunk end. Just like that. And perfect. Now it looks 3D. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to move it to the right a little more so it doesn't ever interact with the head of the character just like that okay now we're going to do we're going to make a new uh, we're going to get a if we're going to put if mouse down we're going to get an operator and we're going to put if mouse down mouse down mouse down where is the mouse down it's going to be in sensing so we're going to put if mouse down show or not show we're not going to put show uh go to motion and put move 10 steps and what this is going to do what this is going to do is going to give us a nice little jabbing animation and it's also going to help us hurt the enemies okay so now we're going to go when green flag is clicked set sword to one to one forever and then we're going to put we're going to get an if and we're going to put we're going to put an equals Put one sword, and we're gonna duplicate this three times, just like that. And we'll put sword two, sword three. And what you're gonna do is now you're gonna make your costumes for all your different swords. So I'm gonna duplicate this, and I'm gonna make the next sword just like a nice little stone sword, um, just like this. It's gonna be super simple to make, uh, just like this. Then get a nice little brown for the handle which i'll just use this okay perfect and now we have our little sword I'm gonna grab this group it i'm gonna delete the twig and i'm gonna put this right there where that one was a little smaller There we go. Okay, now we have our next sword. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this, except I'm just going to color it black or a dark color, just like that. Then the handle, I'm just going to make it black. Handle and everything black. And there we go. Now we have our three swords. And so you're going to go in here and you put switch costume to switch costume to three for three, switch costume to two for two, and switch costume to costume one for one. There we go. Now we have our little sword system where it changes colors and we have a jab. So now we're going to go into enemies and we're going to make it so the enemies can actually take damage. So what we're going to do is we're going to get an if. We're going to get an if block. If. And we're going to put. If. Touching. If. Touching. We're going to get an and first, I mean, uh, I knew I was here for a reason. We're going to get and, and we're going to go to sensing, touching mouse pointer, and then you're going to put and mouse down. 
then we're gonna put in the if we're gonna get another we're gonna get another if and we're gonna put sword equal sword equals one oops uh, we're actually no we're not gonna do that we're just gonna put change health by sword so we're gonna make a new uh, new variable for the sprite only call it health enemy this sprite only just like that uh, so we're gonna put wait no because the enemy already has its own health set change health by then you get a uh, operator and you're gonna get a, a multiplication one you're gonna put negative one in the right and then you're gonna put variables and you get sword by negative one just like that and we're gonna make a nice little animation so we're gonna do is repeat or not repeat yeah we are gonna get a repeat we're gonna put repeat two times change brightness effect by uh, 50 I'm gonna put that in there we're gonna duplicate this put it right on the bottom by negative 50 and just like that we have the damage taking system and now we're going to get the actual death system so we're going to get an if we're going to get an if uh an equals or no not an equals a less than block we're going to put one on the right and we're going to put variables and if health is less than one then delete or wait one second wait zero point zero point zero one seconds so, uh, play sound pop or whatever sound you want for your enemies and then delete this clone and there we go we have the death system and everything worked out um so now let's make it so we actually uh get better swords so we're going to go to the swords and we're going to put when green flag clicked forever um if we're going to get an if and then you're getting equals and you're gonna get if round equals if round over equals true then you're gonna get an if again and you're gonna put you're gonna get uh you're just gonna duplicate that and you're gonna change round over to round and if round equals and whatever you want to uh, unlock your next sword you're gonna put you put, or you're gonna put it there and then you're gonna put change sword or set sword to whatever which one you want to put it to I'm gonna put it to two then you duplicate this and you put it right under it and if round equals seven change sword to three so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set round to um to seven or to five first and, and then to seven so see we set it to five this isn't working okay there we go we set it to five and there we go we have that set it to seven and there we go we have our final sword now if we restart the game we have a bug which is in the enemies because the wave hasn't started yet so we're gonna go here and then in the enemies there's a bug which is most likely going to be at the top of when i start as clone because this is when green flag is clicked and not when i start as clone simple mistake happens to the best of us just like that and now when we play in fact there we go we're gonna hide this actually then we're gonna put um right here when i start as clone we're gonna put uh show right here show it right here so we're gonna put a show right there and it's already there so yeah okay so now it's round seven but we need to set the game to round one so we're gonna go to next wave we're gonna put set round to zero actually set round to zero when green flag is clicked and there we go now we have the resetting round system and everything so basically this game is complete uh, let's have a little test run real quick and show you that it works but let's real quickly add uh, character damage and character death so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put when green flag is clicked set make a new variable health Set health to whatever you want your health to be. I'm going to set mine to 10. And you're going to put forever. If if sensing, touching enemy. Then, then we're going to do the same thing we did for enemies. Repeat two times. 
change brightness by change brightness by 50 or brightness by 50 negative 50 and then we're going to put change health by negative 1 change health by negative 1 and then wait one second so we don't automatically die as soon as we touch one and that there we go that's the whole health system now, now we're going to do forever right under that we're going to put if and we're going to get a uh, smaller than operator and you're going to put uh, health smaller than one hold up we're going to go to the enemy and we're going to hide enemy health so it's not really confusing there we go okay so there we go if health is uh, less than negative one then you're going to put stop all just like that and now we have a fully functioning game where we can hurt enemies uh, right we did not have we did not add hit detection yet so we're going to do that real quick so we're going to go when i start this clone and we're going to put it right um right here i forgot we left this empty just to do this so we're going to put uh in if No, actually, it's right here. We did, and we for just forgot to change this right here to sword. So you're going to put right here, right here, this code for when I start this clone. Oh, I made a mistake. You're supposed to set this to touching sword, just like that. Okay, so now if we start the game, uh, you can see we take damage. But the, the problem is that they're spawning from 0, 0, which is not good. So we're actually going to make them go to... We're going to make them go to 110 uh, just because and let's see how well that works out for us. So we're going to start the game and they're trapped in the block. So I'm actually going to put it 90. So now let's start it. Play. They're still stuck. I'll put 80. Start it. Play. And there we go. And now we can hit and everything. So there we go. That's that's all we need. And we're gonna go in here and we're gonna put when green flag clicked. I know this video is getting kind of long, uh, but this is the final part. So when green flag clicked, looks show switch costume to costume one. And then we're gonna make it get harder as the game goes. So we're gonna put forever, forever, and then get an if else, and you're gonna put uh, and greater than, and you're gonna put if round is greater than ten. If round is greater than 10 then switch to costume 2 else switch costume to costume 1 and there we go that's the game the game is complete um forever going you can survive as long as you want game gets harder as you goes as it goes so yeah make sure to like and subscribe if you want more tutorials uh and i'll see you guys all next video um i don't know what it's going to be about so yeah leave uh leave suggestions in the comments below thank you all for the support on the first video honestly I was not expecting like over 100 views. Honestly, I was expecting less than 50. So thank you all. Have a good day.